If you ever tried to balance a shot's highlights and shadows, you might have tried your luck using color wheels, but you ended up making endless adjustments because the other color channels just won't stay still. In this video, I will show you two additional tools with different underlying mathematics than color wheels, which help you to get there faster. This video is not a color balancing tutorial. We will have a look at when you should color balance and if you should color balance in another video. This video is just to familiarize you with the tools available. Let's pretend I want to balance this shot. You would consider a shot to be balanced if the red, green and blue channels hit roughly the same places. This means the highlights would cap out at roughly the same places and the shadows would cap out at roughly the same places. As you can see, this shot is rather unbalanced. I bet it's on purpose, but as I mentioned before, we will have a look at the why and the when of color balancing in another video. Let's have a look at what happens if I try to balance the highlights using the color wheels. I need to introduce some blue to catch up with green and red. I shift the highlights wheel towards blue and you can see the blue channel increases, but the other channels move as well. I can kind of get it right, but not really. Let's reset this. Maybe it's helpful to go into the highlights section and add blue with the numeric sliders here. I can add blue. Okay, this looks good. And I need to decrease red. Something like this. But have a look at this. The green channel now moves. I can roughly balance them, but this is not very predictable. Why is that? Let's reset this. This is the luma waveform. This indicates the brightness of the clip. No matter how much I change the colors, have a look at the color channels, the luma stays the same. So Final Cut compensates for any change in any channel with the other channels to preserve the overall luma of the clip. In other terms, no matter what you do to the colors, the clip's brightness should stay in place. And this is what happens with the color wheels. But when color balancing, we don't want that. We want the control over each color channel individually. One tool that comes to mind is color curves. Well, you have a red, a green and a blue curve. This should work, right? Okay, let's try it out. I will delete my color wheels adjustment and get the color curves. Firstly, let's reduce some red. I will grab this point and pull it down. But as you can see, the other channels start to move as well. Why is that? Let's reset this. Because this little checkbox, Preserve Luma, is checked. This means Final Cut will compensate for any color change. If we uncheck this, have a look at this. Now we can change the channels individually. Okay, let's balance this shot. I will decrease the red channel and increase the highlights in the blue channel to get them roughly where they are. Now I drag my reference line down here and give the blues a little bit more room in the shadows. Yeah, something like this. This shot now would be balanced. If you don't want to deal with the color curves, I have a plugin which is called Color Balance. Let's have a look at that. I will get rid of my color curves and you can see three sections, highlights, midtones and shadows. Everything you need to balance your shot. So let's balance this shot again using the color balance plugin. Firstly, I introduce some blue into the highlights, just like that, and lower the reds. Yeah, something like this. Then I need to push the blues down a little bit. So I go to the shadows and push them towards yellow. This lowers the blue channel. Yeah, and just like that, we balance this shot. As you can see, it behaves just like the color curves, but you don't have to fiddle around with the individual points. This would be another case of simplicity versus control. As mentioned in the intro, this is not a color balancing tutorial. I just wanted to show you the tools available and my plugin, of course. If you want to learn how and when you should balance your shots, you might want to get subscribed because this would be another video.